Hi everyone, I'm Melissa with Midnight Hour Oil. Today I wanted to come out and share with you a dream I was given last night that I believe points to something very important that God is doing or is getting ready to do, uh, a move of God, a outpouring of His Holy Spirit, and some things that we need to be watching for and aware of as God is doing this outpouring. All right, so in this dream I was given last night, my husband and I were in a worship service with a lot of believers, and the people in this service were really focused on God. They were really, really worshiping Him. And suddenly I looked up and some others were able to see them too. There were these, I don't know how to describe them other than glory bubbles. All right, they looked just like translucent bubbles. They were about the size of a melon, and they were floating over some of the people in the service. All right, so as my husband and I left the service, I was telling him about these glory bubbles. And as I was telling him about them, all of a sudden one appeared. And when it did, I was so excited, I lifted up my hands and I was just praising God. And suddenly the bubble popped. And when it did, it was like it turned to liquid. And one of the drops was in the shape of a heart as it fell onto my arm. And I was so excited telling my husband about uh, how this liquid was falling on my arm and looked like a heart. And as I thought more about it, when I woke up from the dream, I, I sensed the Holy Spirit impress on my spirit that it was God pouring out his liquid love, liquid love. Okay. So then as my husband and I proceed to the, his vehicle, we're heading out the parking lot to his vehicle. Uh, I look and I see this cloud and it is massive. All right. It looks like a tornado but it's stationary and it's about a hundred feet wide and it, and it goes all the way up into the heavens. And it wasn't just my husband's vehicle for, there were a couple other vehicles there that were just enveloped in this cloud. And so as we get over to the vehicle, uh, I see that this cloud has like substance. It's almost like snow. So my husband was going to have to dig in to get hit to his vehicle. And then in the last part of the dream, uh, I was, still somewhat in this meeting and the people, there were people coming out of the meeting and gathering in groups and talking about the meeting, the worship service. And some people were reaching out to me wanting to get acquainted. Uh, but I was looking around and noticed there was one particular woman who was going around to the people and she was, you could just tell she was stirring up trouble. It was as if God had done something very special and some could see it and some were receiving it, but others were protesting. All right, so when I woke up from the dream, uh, I realized that God was just showing me that, that he is pouring out his spirit and uh, in the form of like his liquid love, it's, he's pouring it out on people. And the part about the, uh, the cloud that enveloped my husband's vehicle Okay, I've had three other dreams about God doing something very special in my husband's life this year. And this particular dream, I believe, is not just for my husband. There were other vehicles enveloped in this cloud. But there's, a, there's something that is coming straight from heaven down to some people this year that uh, it, it's just it's going to be glorious. It's coming straight from heaven. Okay, like I said, that... that that cloud reached all the way up into the heavens. So it's just exciting to, to see that God is pouring out his spirit, that he's doing something new. But then this morning, uh, I was texting with my friend Vera, and she had been going to, last weekend, every day their fellowship had a revival service. A man came in from Australia and apparently gifted in healing. And her daughter, who has struggled for a long time, uh, unable to eat certain foods. I mean, she has to be really careful if she gets severely ill, had testified that she had received a healing in this service and she was she had gone out and eaten pizza and she could never have done that before without having some reaction. And she had no reaction. When Vera shared that with me, I was praising God with her and I just basically said, praise the mighty name, name of Jesus. And Vera responded, she said, I knew you would say that, but my sister, she said, uh, she said she didn't really know about these healing services, things like that. So as with any move of God, we as the body of Christ have to understand 
but there are some who will be on board with what God is doing. Just like those who were able to see the glory bubbles, uh, those who were able to hear the, the voice of God when he spoke after Jesus was baptized. Some said it was thunder, whereas others actually heard a voice and said that it was the voice of an angel. And that's in John chapter 12, verses 28 and 29, when Jesus was baptized. Uh, some people are going to see it based on their maturity level. They're going to hear the voice of God. They're going to see what he's doing, and they're going to be on board with it. But there's always going to be those people who like the ones who heard thunder, like those who couldn't see the glory bubbles, they're just not going to be on board with it. And that woman in my dream who was causing trouble, uh, stirring up division, uh, there was another woman who was ignoring her. She was of great influence. And I knew that that was going to be key in the body of Christ that, that was there for that worship service, uh, being able to, to receive what God had done. And that's all we can do is ignore. When we see others who are naysaying and, and saying, this isn't of God, all we can do is ignore them and just be glad that God is doing something and receive it for ourselves or our family members. Rejoice with the, the friends and loved ones who are receiving from the Lord. And, and that's all we can do. Uh, and we have to trust that God will bring those others along in his time and way and pray that he will. But we have to be aware that this is how it works. When God is doing something, you're always going to have uh, those who will deny it, those who will protest. All right. So don't be discouraged by that. Uh, just continue to be glad that God is doing something new. God is pouring out his spirit. He's pouring out his liquid love. And so if you're somebody who really is open to what God is doing, I believe it's going to be a great year for you. I believe God is going to really pour out his glory to you, his love to you, and, and it's going to change you. Enjoy his move, what he's doing in your life, in the life, the lives of your family members. I'm excited. I, like I said, the Lord has given me now four dreams pertaining to my husband and something that he is doing in his life this year. And I'm excited to see what that is and to be a part of it. So take this to the Lord in prayer, church. Ask him for a confirmation. Uh, and I, I pray that you will experience uh, what he has for you this year. And as always, it is my prayer that we will all continue to keep our lamps burning bright while we wait for Jesus. I love you all. God bless you.